Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. What's going on, man? The uh, the Vinnie Max saga has continued. Did you hear about this? No. So, r- quick more? recap. We've done a couple of episodes about Vince McMahon. So, he was accused of some sexual misconduct. Yeah. Uh, he kind of... P- p- money payments to, like, hush people up. And then he... Long story short, he ends up resigning from WWE. As one does. Well, he still happens to be a very, very large shareholder of WWE. Yeah. So, what he decided to do this week was do a hostile takeover. What, what does that mean? So, essentially, he tried to, I guess, from what I've heard, read, he tried to come back to get on the board of directors at the company because he's such a large shareholder and you can kind of, you have kind of sway when you own that much of a company. Okay. And they rejected it. So, since he has 81% of the voting power of the shareholders. <laughs> He ends up he ends up using his voting power to yeah. place himself and two of his former executives on the board out of like I think ten. Okay. And then two other ones resign because because they were like the ones behind like his sexual misconduct allegation like investigation. And then so essentially what he's doing is they think he's doing this because he wants to sell the company and he wants to do it the way he wants to do it. So he makes the most money. Okay. And, uh, and also their TV rights deals are about to come up with Fox and USA, which they were like r- ridiculous, like billion do- billions of dollars, like more than anything else. Like just being on TV makes them more money than anything else. So like they don't even need to put out a quality product because the TV rights are <laughs> they are don't need to put out cuz they are, already got they're in the bag. Right. They're yeah. making profit just off their TV deal no matter what they do. Yeah. So they get So this, uh they but I guess they came out and he said drying on a fence. What would you say? I said they could show paint drying on a fence. Right. Drying. As long as people like well the, I guess the only thing that drives them is that now if they put out a crappy product, when it's time to renew the contract, USA and Fox can be like, hey, we don't want your show. It sucks. Nobody watches it. But yeah. people still watch it because it's it's wrestling and that's what people do. All right. But I guess they're going to keep the, stru- the so-called structure of day-to-day operations the same. Like, he's not going to come back to, like, TV, which I wish he would. It was, it was so funny when he – especially when he's now he's, like, 80. Yeah. Well, I mean, but, you know, if there's some dirt on your name, then we don't necessarily even want your character getting glorified. They don't the even want him on the Vince board. McMahon is – it's a legend. Legendary character, the Vince McMahon character. Vince right. McMahon, the dad, the guy, uh, you, know, you know. I mean, he's probably just as awful as the character on TV. I think. Yeah. I think that like there's 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 not much line between those two. I think they're about the same. I mean, I don't think Stone Cold goes around hitting people with bedpans in his day to day life. I mean, he got in trouble for abusing his wife. <laughs> so I mean. Come on, that's everybody. That's oh, that's what everybody does. Hey, everybody's forgot. doing that. Joe, Dana White did it. Why can't oh Vince Dana McMahon? White? Oh Lord. So yeah, did you so see like, that? Yeah, dude. So oh my God. So TMZ, yeah, go ahead and tell about that. Yeah, so, yeah. TMZ called Dana White uh, and his wife in a nightclub. There's some music going on. Uh, New Year's Eve. Dude. Dude, New Year's Eve, dude. Boom, dude, dude, boom, dude, boom, dude, boom, dude. Boom, bringing said, in the New Year, champagne, champagne. Yeah, let's go. They're like having a heated exchange, and he's grabbing her hands a little bit, and she's saying because they're something. dancing, right? They're holding hands and dancing. That's what I they're doing. I don't think they were dancing. Oh. I think they were having a heated altercation. Oh. And then uh, he, she proceeds to smack him, and then he smacks her. So she hit him first. Yes. And then he hit her back. Yes. And then he even had a statement that he made after it. I, you know what? I got to. If if I knew this was coming up, I would have had it. I mean, uh, you knew we were recording. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I, I didn't know that this story was going to oh. come up. I would have uh, had I would have had it ready, and I could actually play because he actually made a statement after it's happened to TMZ, and and I'll just kind of like uh, paraphrase. Long, yeah, paraphrase. Uh, he basically said, uh, you know, so you know that's the first time that something like that's ever happened. It's terrible that something like that happened. And, uh, you know, I just hope that everybody can understand that we're more concerned about our kids. And and even his wife made a statement. And she said something similar to something similar, you know, like 
it's an understatement to say that this isn't the first time that or this is uncharacteristic for him. We've been together for 30 years. He's been with his wife since she was not since you were. They've known each other since they were 12, but they've been married for 30 years. Oh, wow. So like they're like childhood friends. Yeah. So, he, OK, he's like, that's my wife. That's my best friend. And, you know, I would never do anything to hurt her. But well, then why would she think it's OK to hit him? <laughs> Okay, so wait, now we're getting into the real joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and you me and you had a little chat about this the other day in passing. So the fact of the matter is is that I don't think this is gonna get blown out of proportion because of the fact that they hit each other. You know, she hit him first. But still, he's the one that had to go on TMZ necessarily. Right. I, I mean, I think I think it's it's not going to become a big thing. They made their statements. They did yeah. their thing. It's it's whatever. They're not splitting up. Whatever. My main concern is. Okay. Well, yeah, what's your aspect here? Because uh, and before I can argue you, iceberg effects. Oh. Because if okay. Okay. If you've Bad never part. hit this man before. Yeah. What? Where in your brain? Does it? Do you decide the first time to ever hit him is in public at a nightclub on New Year's Eve? Because and we're not going to say turn the tables. We're not going right, to say right. if you're on the not, other foot. I'm not going that route. I mean, Even like you could. Say I that. mean, we can discuss the whole hitting each other. But here's my thing. I, you, 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 we've all known that couple. Yeah. Who, who like, you see the, it progressively get worse. Like you're like, like one, like you're hanging out with them sometime and all of a sudden you like, you hear like a comment and you're like, yeah. oh, what the, what the, yeah. what, okay. Then yeah. like, then maybe like another month or two later, you're like, then they're like just straight up like fighting in the street. Not like with this, <laughs> but they're like yelling at each other in public. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then like, and then a little later, you, you know, it might come out that like one of them hit each other or something and they break up, whatever. I guess my point is. It doesn't go from everything's fine to I'm hitting you in public without oh, without a chain of events that leads yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, now they, both, the both of them said that the alcohol was flowing that night and that you know tensions were high, but still yeah. this is an isolated event. Dude, I don't know, man. I, I have been I very so drunk and very mad at my partners, and the <laughs> thought of hitting them has never came to my face ever. I mean, but you would if you could get away with well, it. Right? Why? I've never hit anyone. Why would I hit a partner? I don't know. I'm just asking. Oh, you're just making sure you want to catch me in a <laughs> catch me in a tough spot. I just want you to be like. So eh, I yeah, feel that this is a way more common occurrence than. Of course, they're both going to say, "I don't know what happened. This is the first time ever." <laughs> yeah, yeah. But at home, they probably get all drunk up. I mean, and and they probably have fisticuffed more than once. I mean, okay. So here's the thing. It's like. A lot of people are looking at it, obviously, from the fact of, so is he hitting her more or is she hitting him more? Sounds like she's hitting him more. <laughs> Why does it sound like that? How, what, what in the, everything that we said sounds like she's hitting him more. Why would she all of a sudden be the aggressor first tonight? Uh, the so, aggressor is the aggressor is the aggressor. That's a good point. So what you're saying is that if he had been hitting the person who hits the most yes who's going to let that even well i don't know because they both hit each other i but but his could been response like oh somebody hit me slap but that's my problem it's like if you're the aggressor then it takes somebody to be subservient the woman obviously isn't because she initiated the aggression but the woman also obviously isn't because she initiated the aggression and it was met right back with more aggression and she just walked off yeah, I'm like, yo. Well, <laughs> well, well, right, and they might hit each other. Well, I don't know, this right? Is a but, symbiosis. But, but I guess, <laughs> but I guess my point is, the person who who is going to lose control and hit someone in public, yeah. is probably the one that is more likely to hit the other one in general. I mean, but he showed her what she'd get if she hit him. She effed around and found out. Now, didn't but she? Yeah, well, right, but if if he what didn't even hesitate to hit her back. He probably is. I mean, she that's why they found out. Maybe they got some sort of relationship where they're just. <laughs> there we go. See now, and now if they're a mutually abusive relationship, that's one thing. If it's I wish consensually them... abusive at home, I like wish them they well. they just like, wish them well. If they're just like at home, like yo, it's okay. Like he 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 owns UFC. He's obviously into yeah, fighting. Yeah, and she's married she's to him. Some hits. She's known him the whole time. Yeah. Maybe their thing is just like hey. Just it's, sparring just, at the nightclub. 
I mean, maybe they impromptu spar- slap contest. Maybe they spar at home and it just they forgot where they were for a minute. Okay, so in the in the video, he's holding her hands and he's like, "All right, now I want you to smack me as hard as you can." If she hits him, he's like, "That all you got?" If she hits him back. She's like, "I guess I lost," and she's distraught because she lost the contest. Is that what happened? That's what I guess you're, we're coming to the conclusion. I don't of. know, man. I don't Sounds think like anyone should a- hit anyone, man or woman. So I, I disagree that they shouldn't hit each other, period. Unless you're in danger. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if anyone came at me with a knife, I'm going to hit you. Yeah. Like, I, if, if you have a gun, you're going to try to point a gun at me? Like, you're just going to haul off and punch that person, huh? Uh, would you? Uh, would you flip, sorry, sorry, ma'am or sir. Like, what please do you, don't you, shoot you, me. You, bam, bam, you're dead, dude. You think punching this person is going to make him drop the gun? Jones? Slap the gun out, grab him by the neck bone. Jonas is a goddamn Navy SEAL all of a sudden. <laughs> they call me SEAL Team 6 Jonas for a reason. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.